Okay, let's look at a more detailed breakdown of for loops, all right? Um, so in uh, our Principles of Interactive Media week 13, we have uh, this uh, link right here for the tutorial for this lesson, and that will take you here. And in here we have uh, several for loops, which is little notes explaining what's going on, and really it's the same exact loop with just different... Um, uh, with the values change just a little bit here and there, okay? Um, for example, this one here is I as long as I is less than 40, and then um, this one here is as long as I is less than 80. I mean, easy enough. So just uh, go ahead and run these and read the notes and just really in uh, try to internalize what's happening here. Um, I think that's really the best way to learn. But anyway, what I want to do is walk you through a for loop right now. Okay, so. Um, we know we're going to have a 500 pixel by 500 pixel window here. That's uh, easy enough, right? So as far as the for loop here, what's the saying? Um, okay, so um, inside of our for loop, we have um, an integer, right, which is a whole number. And it is given the variable name i. And we are assigning a value to that i of 0. Okay? So we can read this first part. Um, we have for the integer i which has a value of 0. Okay, that's how we read that first part. The next part here, i is less than 150. Okay, so we have for the integer i, which has a uh, uh, value of 0, as long as i is less than 150, then i will equal i plus 1. Okay? So, what does that mean? Well, um, what else is inside of our for loop here? Okay, it looks like we are drawing something. So, we're drawing a line, okay? And if you remember, a line has uh, four different arguments, okay? And so, this is the, uh, the uh, left side of the line you can think of, um, in this case, I guess. So, the uh, first x axis here is for the first side of the line, and that's going to be at 30 pixels along the x axis. So, what does that mean? 30 pixels in, okay? So, remember, 0 is up here in the processing window, okay? And then this is x along this way, and then y is up and down like this. So, 30 pixels in is going to bring us, oh, maybe around right here, okay? 30 pixels in, um, if this was the window. And we'll run it in a minute, just let me explain here. Okay. Now, the other side of, or the y of that, on the, long, the point along the y axis that will draw the left side of the line is i, okay? And that currently has a value of 0. So we're going to be 30 pixels along the x axis and 0 pixels along the y, which is going to be way up here at the top, just 30 pixels in. Okay, let's look at the other side of the line. The other side of the line is 400 pixels along the x-axis. Remember, it's x and y, x and y. So that's going to be, eh, what's 400? It's probably about right here, 400 pixels in, okay? And again, i, so that's up here. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a line from 30 pixels along the x-axis over to 400 pixels along the x. That's going to bring us across the top, and it's going to be at 0 and 0. So it's going to be right up against the top, okay? And it's going to draw that line for us. OK. But as long as i is less than 150, add another one note to i. So then it's going to do it again. OK. And this time, it's going to draw one at uh, 30 pixels in, but we've added one to i. So it's going to be um, 30 pixels along the x, 1 along the y. 400 pixels along the x, 1 along the y the y-axis. And it's going to do it again. Okay? 30 pixels in and 2 down. 30 pixels in and 2 down. Okay? And it's going to run it again. And it's going to do it how many times? Until it reaches 150. And then it's going to stop. Okay? Let's see if I know what I'm talking about here. We're going to run the sketch. There we go. Okay? So, 30 pixels in, 400 across, and uh, 0 down. 30 pixels in, 400 across, 1 down. And just does it every single pixel. And it gives us this box, OK? And it seems like what we've done is just created this rectangle. Well, we have. But we've created this rectangle by drawing a series of lines from 30 pixels in and 400 pixels in, OK, along the x-axis, and then every single pixel down for 150 pixels.
All right, let's test this out for a second here and uh, see what happens if we change this uh, I here plus five. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen now. For the integer variable I, which currently has a value of zero, as long as I is less than 150, add five to I. So what's gonna happen here? Well, first off, it's gonna be zero, and then it's gonna run it, and it's going to do uh, 30 pixels, five pixels, 400 pixels, five pixels. Then it's gonna run it again, and it's gonna do 30 pixels, 10 pixels, 400 pixels, 10 pixels. Then so on and so on and so on, till, well, let's run the sketch and see what happens here. See that? All right, we have five pixel space. We have that top one there right along, 30 pixels in, zero down, 400 pixels in, zero down, and then the next one, 30 pixels in, five down. Okay, you see that? Okay, um, let's try another one here. Let's go ahead and put 15 in right here, all right? And let's run the sketch. Okay, now, not as many lines. Why not as many lines? Okay, so they're separated by 15 pixel spaces, right? But this is still only 150 down, okay? And so it they can only go until it reaches a value of 150. Let's go ahead and change this to uh, 350, okay? And uh, run the sketch. See that? Okay, let's go ahead and change this back to 1. Should have a really big rectangle now. See that? Okay, so that's how for loops work. Okay, there's not a lot to them. They can become quite complicated, but this is the basic function right here. And you're gonna see these all over the place. And it's pretty impressive actually that just um, changing a few numbers in here like this will actually draw something this complex. And this seems pretty easy, but actually what's happening here, is there's a whole lot of lines right here. There's 350 lines just being drawn, giving you this, uh, you know the illusion that what this is is a you know filled in square um, but really it's actually a whole bunch of lines uh, pushed up against each other okay and again we could just make a little bit of space here like that and run the sketch again see that okay so anyway that's how for loops work